Last year we started a campaign. Its purpose was to start a ripple. A ripple that would fight bullying throughout the Granite Bay community and support those who had been victimized. Although the effects often go unnoticed, bullying still remains a problem and we hope to repeat last year's success in fighting this growing epidemic. This year, our vision is to unite the school by making our campus a positive environment. Every day, there will be a call to action, instructions to the students of Granite Bay that, if followed, will help fight against the teasing, the name-calling, and the put-downs that plague our campus. We are bringing these silent attacks into the light and calling for you to become aware. Bullying has changed. The days of the schoolyard bully running rampant around campus and stealing kids' lunch money have long since passed. But that's not to say that it has disappeared or even diminished. According to a survey by student government, five out of ten Granite Bay students have been bullied. Half of the students at our school have been subject to mental and physical abuse at the hands of others. So, why is it that only 30% of all students claim to have bullied someone else? Is this number truly accurate? Or is it possible that many do not realize their actions are hurtful? When you post something on Facebook or Twitter, it becomes available for the world to see. Unlike a personal conversation, the words you put online can be read by anyone. Everyone is different, and everyone is encountering their own struggles. Struggles that cause them to perceive the world from a different perspective. My name is Social Olson, and I'm a sophomore here at Granite Bay. I have a guard up because I don't want people to see the real me, the part that's hurting. At home, I have a family member who's an addict in the process of recovery, and it's hard when nobody knows what's really going on. I have a little sister, and I know that I have to be strong in order to be there for her. But it's hard. When things got tough at home, I'd bring my problems to school, and the only way to get them out was by being a bully. I'd start verbal arguments with people over the stupidest things with the hopes of feeling better afterwards. But in the end, I was just as bad as the people at home, and it didn't make me feel any better. After a while, I found a friend who I could really talk to, and trust. After talking a couple of times, I realized that things got a whole lot better. I still have problems at home, but talking about them instead of being a bully is a much better way to help myself. I can honestly say that I'm a changed person. Countless others experience conflicts like Socho. Conflicts that, when presented, can alter the way you view someone. In sixth grade, a mom and her daughter bullied me by telling lies to the administration that, to a point where I almost got suspended. You may not know that I have a stutter, which I've had all my life. I've struggled socially and academically for as long as I can remember. It was always hard for me to speak in front of the class and meet new people. And the worst part is that it's never going to go away. Most people don't know I have dyslexia. When I was in 8th grade, my mom passed away from melanoma, which is a malignant form of cancer. When I was 8, my dad had several affairs with my mom. The family was torn apart and it was quite sad. When my dad couldn't take all of it anymore, he tried to kill himself. I walked in the garage and saw him slitting his wrists. Then in eighth grade, there were more problems. My dad became seriously addicted to cocaine and Oxycontin. He spent a lot of our family's money and had to go to rehab for months. As a result of his absence, he lost his job and our family was in even more financial trouble. If we want to eliminate bullying, awareness is paramount. Without knowing what does and what does not hurt our friends and others around us, we can change nothing. But if we can identify that which hurts our classmates, we can work towards a positive and connected student body. Be 
aware. Be aware. Be aware of how we interact with each other on campus. Be aware. Be aware. Be aware of our words, our actions, and our encounters with one another.